I always say to young, young editors, that with documentaries, with film editing, you have to be able to deal with the notion that your material, may, you may fail the first time you cut it. You may fail the second time, because it's a process. It's a process, you know? So you bring the director in when you feel you have your cut to a point where you think it's working to get the director's feedback. Sometimes the director will say, you're on, you're on point, Sam. And sometimes they'll say, Sam, you're way, way off where I'm trying to go with this material. I think that um, it's really important to understand what the director is trying to do, um, you know, whether he had the material to do it or not, uh, what he was trying to do, and what he is trying to convey. We have an expression, you've got to kill your babies, which means we've got a sequence that we just love. <laughs> just love it. And it doesn't really serve the film. In fact, it's the thing that's killing a major part of the film. And when you take that out, everything comes together. And it's the thing that the editor loves the most. And for whatever reasons he has, whatever aesthetic principles that are lodged deep in his brain, uh, it doesn't work for what this film has got to accomplish. I've definitely made the mistake of meeting some of the subjects in the middle of the editing process. And, and it definitely is, is, is hard to manage because then you, you do get opinions about them that you inevitably bring to the edit. Is it the truth? No, it's my truth. This is the truth that I see in the documentary that we're all, we must all have this feeling. You know, it doesn't come out of the back of the camera with um, music and effects, you know? It's a bunch of stuff. And what we choose to show you in which order is what you perceive to be the truth because that's what we saw and that's what we wish to communicate with you. Of course it's manipulation. Of course it's manipulation. Don't let anybody tell you it isn't because that's what we do.